Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing today's video. It is a Valentine's Couples Questionnaire and this is actually a collaboration with a, a bunch of other, other lovely ladies. Um, they are doing it with their other significant others. Um, if you're new here, um, well, these, these videos um, of these other ladies are actually going to be in the playlist down in the description. So after you watch this video, you can go and watch their videos. And if you're new here from those other ladies' channels, welcome. And I would love you to join my family also. So let's um, go ahead and get into the questions. Are you ready, David? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, by the way, if you're new here, I'm Megan, and this is David, so. Okay, so the first question is, what was your first impression of me in one word? One word. Um, I'm trying to think. First impressions, I just remember you coming through that door. Um, I'd probably have to say, uh, smile. You had a big smile. Uh, you remember watching you come through that door. Yeah, and mine yeah. would be for you would be glowing, because your smile I was glowing. I, I do get told I have a big smile. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mean to, it just happens. Yeah, well he thought... I've oh, gotten complimented on my smile though, so I, I guess I take that as a good you thing. You thought I was just so beautiful that you just had to, uh, it's not, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it was a first date. Thing. Yeah. I mean, we, blind date. Yes. Okay. Anything else you want to add? No. No. Okay. Um, number two. Who said I love you first? I don't remember. Exactly. My memory. I don't remember either. I. Uh, it might have been. Me. It might maybe. have been me. I mean, it, it. I remember where we were. We were on your couch in your apartment. I think we even was actually. That okay. I was like, I was like our fourth date. Not that. I think, and uh, we actually, I think we talked about marriage at that date too. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't mean that, but uh, that was our fifth date. I want to say. It was, oh, was that fifth date? Was when you came, when I cooked dinner for you. Okay, then that was our I fifth date. That was when we cooked dinner, but. Okay. Number three. What is your favorite love song? Um, I don't listen to a lot of love songs, so I would have to say. No, I love songs I don't listen to. Uh, I would just say our song that, uh, uh, well, I mean, I guess that we have two. The, that one, uh, I Can't Wait, mm -hmm. uh, by Runner. Run, we well, they, it, it was Ben, what's his name? And Well, it was two people. That one, um, and then, uh, there was another one. Oh, what was the other one? That was the one after it, we we kind of had one before we got married that we listened to a lot. That was that we about, said that was our song. About getting married. And then there was That's another the one. Of, I can't wait for you to be my wife, basically. And then there was another one. <laughs> yep, hi Thor. Uh, there was another one that was. I really I can't I know what it is like and and I can't think of it right now. Like I know it, but now I can't think of it. But wasn't so that about before that getting married too? No. Oh. It wasn't. But now I can't remember what it is. But I remember that I can't wait because that was the first one. So if you want to say, like, that was the first one. So I could say the that's my favorite. The other one was in our wedding, wasn't it? I think it was one of the ones we danced to. Um, but uh, I'll just say that one for now. Because I can't, I honestly cannot remember the name of the other one. But you said you don't listen to love songs. Maybe not anymore, but when you first started wow. dating me or whatever, you said that's all you listened to because you were so happy. Well, I listened to that, 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 I listened to Pandora at work, um, and I would listen to that channel just because I, you know, was happy. Like, but I don't like, listen to, like, he doesn't listen to it anymore, on, on the regular. I mean, my, what I listen to that, my music, I mean, is just regular music. He doesn't listen to it anymore. Well, I guess he's not happily in love anymore. Didn't say that. We've been married for five years, and we have two kids. So, yeah. does that mean... No, I just don't listen to the songs on the right cover. That's just not my normal playlist, is all I'm saying. It used saying. to be. It used to be. But okay. I still, I mean, if, I, if it comes on, I'll listen to it. I love Because it's, it's in my playlist. I listen to random. Basically, I take my iTunes and put it on random. Don't so if it comes on, I'll listen to it. Okay. Number four. What is your favorite memory of us dating? 
honestly, my favorite one is probably when we went to main event. That was a really fun one. That was a fun date. Um, I would say that one. Is it? You know, taking the pictures the and we, um, you know, we took those pictures in that booth and we went bowling. I thought it was a fun date. I mean, I still Air like hockey. our second date, but that was a fun one. I would say that's my favorite. And that's the first time we kissed, too. Oh, yes. my gosh. The go, work. Go. Get away. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he, that's my cat. He, that is our... Uh, if I'm not showing him attention, he gets jealous, so... I'm so sorry. <laughs> he gets jealous. Um, I'll... Get out. I'll pet you later. <laughs> Here, let me get this chair for you. Here. There you go. Sit right there. Okay. Um, that's, yeah, the first time we kissed. My favorite part of us um, when we were dating was we were pretty much from the... Almost when we first started dating... We were, uh, we saw each other like every single day, and I was like, Well, maybe we should try to spend like what was it, like a day apart of each other or, or something? Two, or something like two days. Mm -hmm. And then that first night, we text or call each other, like, What are we doing? And David's came over. And we said, I don't know if I did that night. Yeah, I? you came over that night. Sure. Yep. I don't remember. Okay. So, number five. Um, do you like to celebrate Valentine's Day by staying in or going out? Explain why. Personally, if it was up to me, I would probably do more celebrating in. I wouldn't mind cooking her dinner and steak or whatever. Her, on the other hand, I know it's out. She wants to go out to a restaurant and get the wine and, the, you know, whatever the special. And I normally, on most of ours, our Valentine's Day, we went to something. Like, I remember our first one, I want to say, was the Melting Pot. Was that the first one? Um, so was that, I think it was there? because I uh, was, had my engagement ring and I was taking pictures and all the flowers. Oh, yeah. I know we had, when they had the picture, too, because it was Valentine's Day, so they had, like, a little thing where you could take your picture out front before you went inside. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you got a free picture, and then we went in. The Melting Pot's a nice place anyways, but I picked a nice place on Valentine's that they'll always have. They had the whole meal. Uh, it's 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 a fondue place, so they had it like from your start to your dinner to your thing. Everything was dip. It was good. Everything yeah, was good. It was. You know, it was I want to go back. It, it was really good. There's two reasons why I um, like to go out to eat. <laughs> Number one is because I don't. We don't get to go out that to eat by ourselves that much. So no, I, I feel I, I enjoy going out. No, I enjoy going out. I just know it's. Am I enjoying staying in more because it's cheaper? <laughs> yes, I do enjoy, and I do uh, enjoy you cooking for me, but... I made a good steak. You do mm -hmm. make a steak, good steak, but if something that goes wrong, he gets upset because he wants to go so perfectly, and then... Well, I don't want to mess it up. I know, and but if something does go wrong, then you're like in a bad mood. Well, no, we can talk about when that time you were cooking pancakes and what you did. I... I mean, this isn't uh, let's blame <laughs> yeah. each other video. Okay. I know. I, 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 I want to make sure I get it perfect. No, that's how right. I am too. I, when I do something, I want it to be perfect. And if it doesn't, I get upset and yeah. I go and lay on the bed and <laughs> put my face down. She got really bed. mad with pancakes once. Was it pancakes? I, I thought it was pancakes. Because you were, yeah, you kind of cooked it a little too long or maybe burned one. I, I burned. I, I, but, whatever uh, it was, I messed it up and yeah. I was not happy with myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, number six, do you give each other a card or a love letter for Valentine's? Yeah, we give cards. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if it's not a mushy one... <laughs> I try to do my... I, for the most part, I try to do for Valentine's. One year I gave him a funny one and David was like... I, I'm I think not going to give you a funny I was giving you a hard time, I think. So I had to give him so, lovey-dovey one. Oh, you don't have to. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I, I, I'm picking the mood. If that I need, with then that means that, that means I can do me a funny I need one. to go buy a card. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is it almost February? Well, it's almost February. Okay. That's what we're doing. I this. guess I need to do. Yeah. <laughs> we're not doing right. it. In Valentine's well, I just forget how close it is. July. January. January is almost over now. Yeah. I guess I got to do Okay. Um. Number seven. What is your favorite Valentine gift? Uh, we don't really do like gift gifts do we i mean i get you like a car and i'll get her flowers stuff like that chocolates but i don't get like you know it's not like a wrapped gift it's just like chocolates and everything like that yeah we, you know, never, do, so we never do anything my like favorite food. gift would be if we're going out to eat is a great food place we just 
Place for cheese. The place we choose. Oh, they said a place like, for cheese. Good food, you know, I like good food, so that's my treat. But you. Because we normally pick a nice restaurant on Valentine's. Because we, since we don't go out that often, I want to make sure it's a nice occasion, nice place. So the food's good. So. Yeah, yeah. But I usually like, like. But no, you give me chocolates. So I like that. You give me like a. I usually like a, a random things, um. But I like. Like the chocolate covered cherries. Oh, oh, that's her favorite. Her favorite is the cordials. Um, that would be her. So I get her the cordial covered cherries. That's the cordials. That's the name. It's a well, that's not the brand name. I'm saying what a cordial no. is. It's chocolate covered cherries with this stuff. That's the Queen something. Queen Anne. Queen Anne. Not that's the her favorite. Cordial. Well, it's it's basically the same. Um, and yeah. then also like those um those sugar-coated cherry things that it's like a jelly things. oh yeah i forgot about the that. cinnamon yeah, yeah 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 she likes those too i, yeah. I got i try to remember i forgot because i remember one year that i couldn't find them and it doesn't so hurt to, to have a, a box of sort of chocolate oh yeah uh -huh. a box. Okay. i would get you that but since i know you like Queen Anne cordial, well, get I get her the Queen Anne. All three. A box of chocolates. You never it, like, know what you're going to get. No, that's true. I, that would be my go-to as just, that is, you know, you know Valentine's. Know. So I get the big box of chocolates. But I know you like Queen Anne, so I just get her the Queen Anne. I, I get her big I would uh, take all three. Okay. <laughs> um, I said, the next question <laughs> is, <clears throat> number eight, what would you prefer on Valentine's Day? Flowers, chocolates, teddy bear, or jewelry? It'd be for you, I guess. For me, it would just be chocolate. I don't need jewelry or well, I would love teddy bear, personally. I would love jewelry, but... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think girl if I got you jewelry. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. I know, I don't think so. I don't know if I did it on Valentine's. I get you every now and then. Um, but yeah, I'd probably chocolates. I just try to get your favorite colored rose, and then I try to get your favorite chocolate. What's my favorite color rose? Pink. Mm -hmm. So I get you that. They don't do that. I just try to get other rows, but I know you're like, for Valentine's, that's the normal go-to. Get your rose and I get you your chocolate, your favorite, and another surprise. I try to get you a surprise too, something I love. You got me time. wine once. Yeah, I think that I did. was nice. So I, I try to, I try to get you your two favorite. Like I get you your your rose and I get you your Queen Anne's, and then I try to find something like this wine year. When you're I here. expect flowers, wines, chocolate, uh, so Queen Anne's, and those. And <laughs> Jelly thing. Uh, I guess I'm cooking it in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, just don't mess with it. <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right. Number nine. What is your favorite romantic movie? Mm, I don't know. I don't watch like romance movies per se. I like romantic comedies, but that's not really a romance movie. I guess you would say, really, is it? I mean, it they're kind of, but they're romantic comedies. I don't just watch plain romance. That's not my thing. Uh, do you like romantic comedies? Any good mushy romantic comedy? I just kind of like. A, uh, I'm a sap for those. I just kind of like because I'm a comedy, so I like the romantic comedies. You know, the guy gets the girl, they make their match, and then at the end of the movie, he gives. So give me an example. Every movie is what, the same. Which one do you like? Uh, I mean, they're all the same, but. <laughs> I, oh, I mean, because basically he finds her. He they get mad at each other in the middle of the movie, and at the end of the movie, they get back together. Okay, give for me. For the most part. Give me an example, um, or give me one. Uh, there was one right when I met you, I want to say I watched it before. Well, I don't know if it was out right when I met you, but it was, I remember watching stuff in my part. I want to say I watched it. Watching I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name, though. Uh, romantic movies before you met me. I like, rom I like rom coms, so I normally watch it when it was going simple anyway. But <laughs> I just like rom coms. There was one with. He was uh, secretly uh, wanting a. Not secretly, he was wanting it. What's her name? I mean, a good one is, which is probably Megan's favorite rom com. Is, well, it's not a rom com. I guess it's a romance. It's a romance. Uh, what 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 is the? Oh shoot, what's his name? That makes it. Uh, oh, I cannot think of it. I know it's her favorite, and I like that one too. I haven't watched it in a while. Okay. Um, what is it? There's a meme like where he says, "What a you know." He he has a meme now. It's where it's like trying to ask a girl where she wants to eat. What do you want? Oh, help floats. What do you want? Not oh, help floats. Not help uh, floats. Uh, yeah, she does love help floats. That's probably her number that's one. one. I, I guess that's Never mind. That's her number one. Her help other floats. one, which she claims is her favorite, but I don't think I've ever watched it with you. Five years. We did once. Uh, did we watch it once? I don't remember. Um, oh, now you got me. Uh, it, you know, they lose their memory. You know, her, he's telling the story. It's 
It's the Nicholas Sparks, and I just can't think of the name right now. Because I read a lot of Nicholas Look Spark it up, books. because now I wonder. Um, no, it, Hope it, Floats is my favorite, yeah, because I about, yeah. it has well, you like my favorite Bullock. actress, Sandra Bullock, and then, then my, Trish Uroyd, my favorite singer, actually sings the song in there, so. As soon as we hear it, we're going to be like, oh yeah. Sparks. Yeah, I, I know it is. It's one of the more popular ones. The Notebook. No, <laughs> the Notebook. That makes she sense. Okay. But that's all his Nicholas Spartan movies. I think they're all movies. I don't know. Yeah, all of these are movies. Uh, that one's a good one. I remember watching that. Uh, okay. Um, Number 10. What does Valentine's mean to you? Um. I mean. Don't say homework. <laughs> well, in all honesty, that's what it was created for. But, no. Uh, aside from the Hallmark cashing in on, you know, women's love for chocolates, wine, and... Pretty decorative uh, <laughs> I guess, well, Valentine's is just a special day. You get to acknowledge your special loved one, how much you care about them. I mean, you, you, you try to do that every day. I try to show her every day how much I love her. But it's that special day where you say, mm -hmm. I Some guess... Some people don't get it every day, well, so and if they you, need that's to... True. No. I mean... It's kind of like, because you, know, you have two kids, or two jobs, life gets in the way sometimes and you don't mean it to. So even though I try to, you know, I tell her every day that I love her, tell her every day that she's beautiful. It's settled down. Um, but it's slow a, down it's a, it, it, it's a, yeah, it's a day you can slow down and actually have one-on-one -on -one time. When you can say, okay, the grandparents know, hey, come get the kid for a day, let us just have a day, just us. If you're able to, some people even have Valentine's with, I think one year we had Valentine's with Hannah Jake, last year. No. Uh, oh, she was, was born, so and we, we, we did it with with James and we did too. it with James as well. We took him to Olive Garden. <laughs> There's oh, yeah. one or two. Uh, he wasn't just born, so I, he may not. He may have been two actually, because I think he was older. I think he may have been 18. Uh, but yeah, so we done it. We done it twice. One with James, 2018. I mean. Oh, it, may, it was just one year where I don't think he was just born. I think he was older. I think we had a so family member come kind of watch him the first um, year. We try to do that every year because we had we took the pictures. Normally. Sorry if you hear my dog groaning over he's, here. He has anxiety he's problems. Old. <laughs> he has anxiety problems. We have uh, a lot of animals and children. <laughs> um, but we try to get the we try to get the um, grandparents to watch to do that. So yeah, that's my you know kind of away from the question. But uh, Valentine's to me is that where you can kind of actually take one day to slow down and just kind of have time one-on-one -on -one to show more how much you love them, even though I try that every day. I try to highlight that in that one day. Okay. Because your kids take over. Okay, shh, back soon. <laughs> Number 11, what does X's and O's mean? Well, it's a Trisha Yearwood song. <laughs> um, I don't remember what she sang it about, so I can't describe it. I don't know, oh. Well, do you know, know song, what it really means? Oh, I mean, you mean just like hugs and kisses? Yeah, that's what it means. Oh, well, hugs yeah. and kisses. It made it sound like there was a deep meaning behind it. Like, well, the first X is and O is 200 years ago. Well, what do, which one do you know? <laughs> which mean, one means which? I used to think uh, it was opposite, and it's actually not. It's I, I, I honestly can't. I, I'll tell you what I think it is, and you can tell me, because I honestly don't remember. I would think kisses is X and hugs is O's, but I... Yeah, right? I actually okay. thought it was the other way around because I thought it was the like mouth, the O. And then I thought the X like was the hugs. Like this. And the hugs, like this. <laughs> I thought that X is yeah. I but. thought that for the longest time, and then actually, my well, was probably longer yeah, than yeah. I thought. I like Hershey like, kisses. Though. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. You can add that to my list of things uh, too. Oh yeah, they have those Valentine ones. <laughs> Okay, I think we have one more <clears throat> question. One more question. Well, it's like a three-answer question. Oh, okay. Part one. Sorry, our son has walked in. Okay. Number 12. Finish these three sentences. Wait. I love the way... You look? Tonight. <laughs> no. I love the way... I love that, too. <laughs> Um, you let me sleep in on Saturdays, or Sundays. Sundays. So, because I get up early every other day, so. Well, you can sleep in on Saturdays, too, but, yeah. No, because you're not here on Sunday. Normally, I have been. 
okay. So, just recently, but yeah. Okay, so, now your turn. Um, I love the way that you take care of our children, and I love the way that you love them. She's a very selfless person, and, that, you know, and it rubs off, you know, the way she takes care and the way she does that, you know, it makes me want to be better. Thank you. Okay, I love that... I love that David works two jobs and he lets me stay home with the kids. Um, I love that you try to take the most responsibility in the inside of a house, like cooking, cleaning, so that when I am home I can try to rest. Um, because with my back problems and neck problems it does, you know, I try to do what I can and I know that um, it's a lot for you and I appreciate that. <coughs> So I, I do love the way that you take, you know, you take on that role and you take it head on and you, you know, for the most part, you just go and get it. And, you know, well, I try. I well, I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Last part. I love your... <laughs> um... Smile, calves. Do you have good calves? I work hard on those. No, he doesn't. He's born <laughs> blessed with good calves. Hey, I, some people are blessed with, you know, good fortune. I'm blessed with good calves. You do have good sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> you do have good sense of humor. I try it. Even though I don't always appreciate your sense no, of humor. I try to get better at it, but I'm a natural, like, joker, so I try to get better at and he, it. I, he, I try to get better because sometimes my jokes come off. You don't joke at the right bad. time, I, though. Not always. I don't. I know. I don't. He's like, you know, why are you not laughing hey, at my jokes? comedians don't ever laugh, do it at the right time. But. I'm like, because you're not, I don't, don't, yeah. it's not joking time. Yeah. So I got to work on that, because uh, <laughs> I like to joke. <laughs> Me, since I'm always stressed, I, I just like to lighten the mood. Hold on, buddy. Okay. Uh, Hold on. But, uh, okay. I love your... Uh, I love your heart. Oh. That's my favorite. She is very selfless person, very caring person. Um, and that's, been, that's one of the biggest reasons why I was drawn to her. You're gonna make me cry. You know, <laughs> who she is and everything she does. And I'm not always the easiest to live with the last few years. It's been rough. I know it's not been my fault, but it's just been rough, you know, trying to learn how to deal with it. I still have to, to go through. You know, I, pain has, you know, it, it, it's not easy and it can make you negative and that's something I'm trying to be, you know, that. But you and the kids, uh, they are what keep me positive and going, so. You're gonna make me cry. Okay. Love, Love you. you. Thank All you. right. Thank so, you for joining us. Yeah, that's the end of this, um, questionnaire I guess that's what this is called <laughs> <laughs> um this collaboration this Valentine's collaboration and if you've made it this far thank you um and again if you're new here um my name is Megan and this is David and we have two kids we have a four-year-old uh, James, James and then we have a one-year-old Hannah and I make and we met Thor yeah <laughs> we have three cats and a dog <laughs> um and I make motherhood um, videos and, you know, uh, marriage and family and lifestyle and anything mm -hmm. that involves that. If that sounds interesting to you, um, please hit that subscribe button. And um, don't forget to go down in the description and uh, watch the playlist of all the other ladies mm -hmm. in this um, co collaboration. Mm -hmm. Hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos. Yes, yes, please. And don't forget to like oh. this video, too. All right. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye.